Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Wodge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And what you're looking at right now is the HP Omen X gaming desktop. Now, this is pretty much one of the most unique looking computers out right now. It's a custom bespoke design with several novel features that really hasn't been demonstrated in other gaming slash desktop PC platforms. Firstly, as you can see, the PC tower is in a cube formation and it's rotated at a 45 degree degree angle thus giving it its interesting stance as well as from a functional standpoint there is a toolless method of opening the uh, side panel of the case and uh, therefore you can service your parts really really easily without having to bend down like a traditional desktop gaming pc tower now another important detail is the tri-chamber design so essentially the omen tower is actually split up to three different regions the largest region being uh, where you would store your motherboard your your GPU and your CPU and directly behind that region on the upper portion is where you would house all your hard drives and SSDs which are located in these uh, four hot swappable bays and these are also uh, toolless configured so it's really easy to install drives in and out of the system and directly underneath this region is uh, pretty much where all the excess cables are stored as well as the power supply unit. Now the cool thing about having these isolated chambers is that the ventilation system is independent from one another so uh, essentially your hard drives don't get affected by the heat that your CPU and GPU generates same thing with uh, any excess heat that's generated uh, from the power supply unit each chamber has its own dedicated fan and has its own airflow for intake and exhaust now in addition to that we also have an omen all-in-one liquid CPU cooler and with a top mounted radiator the exhaust of your uh, CPU heat is just going to be ventilated straight Straight to the top so therefore the temperature of your CPU shouldn't really affect the performance of your GPU and vice versa and if you ever decide on water cooling your GPU you also have a uh, room for a couple of radiators at the top of the case so you can get even better thermal isolation and overall performance directly at the bottom of the PC case is a slide out blu-ray slash optical drive which is actually really easy to access if you still use optical or blu-ray disc uh, for your PC uh, additionally at the front of the case you can see that there's RGB lighting integrated there's actually nine individual lighting zones and you can control the illumination in uh, four different color modes and you can control all this using the pre-installed Omen lighting control app in Windows. Furthermore there's actually a handy little toolkit uh, right behind the Omen logo on the PC so that includes a two-sided screwdriver set as well as 15 replacement screws so if you lose a screw or want to replace a part it's really easy to do with this toolkit uh, directly embedded in the PC case now in addition to the uh, tower itself there's also a omen feature lineup of peripherals partnered uh, with steel series and many of these peripherals are tried and true industry grade developed by professional esports teams she got uh, the opportunity to test out the omen headset which is actually very similar to the Siberia 200 and it's a really lightweight headset with a retract microphone it contains a 50 millimeter neodymium driver that has a fairly wide frequency response range from 10 to 28,000 Hertz the omen keyboard that you're looking at right now is uh, very similar to the apex 350 so it's a membrane based keyboard it actually feels uh, very responsive and tactile it also has five independent RGB lighting zone as well as uh, some neat lighting on uh, the side of the keyboard and uh, with all the custom uh, buttons you can configure you can really Really make this keyboard your own the omen mouse and mouse pad gives you a really accurate overall tracking especially with that large non-slip uh, pad you have a uh, tons of real estate uh, to move your mouse uh, freely wherever you want and the mouse itself is the rival 300 from steel series with the omen branding and you can also uh, custom configure the rgb lighting in here and you have a cpi or dpi rating of over uh, 6500 so plenty of sensitivity for most people out there now in terms of uh, PC specifications you can obviously configure the Omen X in a couple of different ways we have uh, something that's a little bit more akin to a higher end desktop gaming PC all the systems have uh, Windows 10 pre-installed as well as a 6th generation Intel Core i7 6700K which is probably one of the best overall gaming CPU you can get uh, right now in terms of memory we have 32 gigabytes of DDR4 which is plenty enough for gaming and obviously you can add more 
as you go along. Uh, in terms of storage configuration, a three terabyte mechanical hard drive, as well as a super fast PCI Express a Gen 3 M.2 drive from Samsung, the SM951, which uh, has over two gigabytes uh, sequential read speeds and about 1.2 gigabytes in terms of write performance. So very, very fast SSD uh, for your main software and your operating system. Additionally, in terms of graphics card, we have the top tier Founders Edition of the GTX uh, 1080, which is one of the fastest GPUs available right now and especially optimized for a high detail 4K gaming experience as well as a seamless uh, VR gaming experience. Uh, beyond those things, uh, in terms of networking, we have a built-in 802.11 AC 2x2 wireless chip as well as Bluetooth 4.0 uh, built into the system as well. Now, the last thing that we're going to go over is my benchmark performance results uh, for this system. So we're going to talk about the CPU first, uh, dealing with the 6700K processor. It's really easy to get a 4.6 to 4.7 gigahertz overclock uh, without putting the voltage uh, too high, usually around 1.3 volts. And uh, with that, our cooler managed to keep things relatively cool, 76 degrees uh, C in terms of peak uh, load temperatures of a sustained uh, period of time. In terms of the actual performance results, the Cinebench R15 yielded about 1026 points. The uh, Geekbench uh, 3 uh, single thread performance results is just around 5,000 and just under 20,000 in terms of the multi-core uh, performance. So relatively good uh, overall for a 6700K processor. Now moving forward, the main purpose of uh, most people getting this PC is going to be for gaming, whether that be 4K or VR based. Now with a GTX 1080, in terms of the VR capabilities, we get a top score of 11 points using the Steam VR benchmarking software. And in terms of the TimeSpy DirectX 12 synthetic benchmark, we get a solid score of just under uh, 7,500 points. Beyond the synthetic benchmark results, I did manage to play a handful of uh, newer titles available in DirectX 11 and 12, mostly DirectX 12 titles. And uh, as you can see in full 3840 by 2160 native resolution at pretty much a high to relatively high overall details on all of these gaming titles were well above or around 50 to 60 FPS with the exception of Rise of the Tomb Raider, which uh, hovers around a 47.1 average frames per second. But of course, if you want more, you can always throw in another GTX uh, 1080 you have uh, more than enough uh, power to do so in this system and an extra expansion port that will support SLI or crossfire configurations but really other than that guys uh, that's really it uh, generally speaking you see that the Omen X uh, gaming desktop offers a lot now uh, certainly you are getting a pre-built uh, system which has its pros and cons uh, certainly in terms of the pros it's very convenient you can order right then and there on HP's website exactly what you want and you'll get a pristinely built very cleanly laid out system that you'll have for several years that you can even upgrade as time goes on the only thing that you're gonna kind of uh, pay is the little bit of extra cost for having a bespoke design a custom configuration as well as uh, the cost involved of uh, building uh, an actual gaming pc for the mass uh, consumers out there but i think uh, generally speaking it's uh, certainly worth the money if you don't want to uh, bother with building your own system if you don't have the time and you want to get something with excellent warranty and overall service. So if you're in the market for a, a new gaming PC and want something pre-built and going to set you off from the rest of the gaming community, definitely check out the Omen X. But really on that, guys, that's really it. Thanks again for watching. If you have any specific questions, let me know and we'll see you later. Take care.